Hey, I'm Ryan. This is Angela and John from LostReviews.com, and this is our review of The Edge of Darkness. Alright, what do you think, John? They throw it off to me first, don't you? Um, wow! I didn't know we had a uh, Comedy of the Year contender right out of the gates in this, uh, Highly suspenseful action thriller from uh, director Martin Campbell, who's now going on to direct uh, The Green Lantern with uh, Ryan Reynolds. But uh, it, 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 I mean, overall, the action in the movie is uh, good. This is kind of one of those movies. It's hard to talk about certain elements of it without getting into spoilers. Um, I think we should. I think we should just. Well, pretty spoilers. pretty general with this film. It's kind of one of those semi-typical. Big bad evil corporation versus the neo hippies trying to bring them down. Conspiracy theories. And Mel Gibson's gonna kick some ass. Right. That's all you need that's, to know. My daughter's sure. dead, and I'm gonna kick your yeah. ass. Yeah, you've seen the trailer, sure. so you do know that. And yeah. It was kind of interesting because at first I thought they might go a little bit different angle with part of that because of her uh, radiation sickness. Yeah. I don't think that's going anywhere. But uh, you know, she's still graphically. This is a pretty hard R uh, graphic film. In regard to yeah, I'm kind of happy to see that ass. between yeah. like law-abiding citizen and and now this with kind of law-abiding citizen is a lot more heavy with it, but just kind of that really kind of the shock hard value. gritty yeah R. Yeah. There's definitely some shock value. I actually yeah, screamed out loud at one point, but I don't know if it was more of the shock or just the sound that was added to it. Yeah, I was so unexpected that yeah, yeah I jumped. Yeah. I mean, it was a car crash, but yeah, those usually get me, but this really I, really got. Me. I actually liked it. I and I know it's cheesy, and I think I knew that going in. But it's to me, it set out to entertain, and that's purely what it did. Was it entertained us? The, the audience with us was clapping along when the bad guys got what they deserved, and laughing when they needed to. And we were obviously laughing, I think, when we were not intended to. But yeah. <laughs> I think that made it more enjoyable for us. And, and they even said, "You said you." Watch it again on that very yeah. fast. Yeah, well, you know, it would be a good movie to uh, get drunk and go see with like four friends. This is like one of those perfect kind of like Mystery Science Theater 3000 films. Yeah, it's a and, good, bad movie. Yes, and like towards the end, it's just so over the top with like just some of the action and some of like what happens that, I mean, I, I still can just visually see it in my head. I mean, it's just so ridiculous yeah. and preposterous. You can't help but laugh. The last 20 yeah. minutes? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. The, like basically almost the entire third act. Because just... up until that point, I took it as a serious action film. I mean, as serious as you can take it with that kind of a Boston well, accent. Kind of, yeah, it's kind of off. that suspense thriller kind of thing. And, and well, they do pretty well with it, but it's a little convoluted yeah. also. It's payback too, but it's what you <laughs> With no expect. comedy. Yeah. With no black comedy at all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> unintended comedy, but not, you know, total comedy. So. Uh, the only thing that I would say is I really liked uh, Ray Winstone in it, but his character totally unneeded, and I really yeah. don't understand yeah, what the, the point of it is. There was really no resolution. It, yeah, his character, character arc wasn't very good. Yeah, he's the like yeah. and, yeah. and we couldn't understand him some of the time. Yeah, there is an entire expository scene of dialogue about midway through the film between him and, and Mel Gibson that... I don't think it was even the sound in the theater. I just like I basically well, hardly were, understood a single they thing. They were both they speaking softly because they were in such close proximity to each other. Right. But to us, you've got a, a hard English accent whispering, so his lips are barely moving, and then a wicked hard Boston accent, yeah. which you also couldn't understand some of it. So we were just kind of like, okay, I think I, I think I know what's going on. Yeah. So they're gonna kick ass. That's what we know. We know yeah. that's gonna right. happen. It, it's it's not payback. No. No. It's not that good. But it's one of those really, really, really bad movies that you come out and you're like, that was funny. I kind of liked it. It was, yeah. it was entertaining on a bad level. It gives you yeah. the giggles. Yeah. Also, I didn't know how short Mel Gibson was. Yeah. yeah. We usually get these these hardcore uh, you know cop movies from him where he's the badass. Yeah. Yeah. But this movie, they didn't put him on stilts. And he wasn't walking <laughs> on the curb. And, so. uh, he doesn't look as intimidating. Yeah, no. At one point, when I, I just thought he was a midget. 
Yeah, the, one, the, the worst part I almost broke at laughing was when he was uh, talking to that lawyer and he was walking with him to his car. And I thought for there was some, like a good I thought foot that, and a half yeah, like different yeah. thought, like framing and everything. Why don't they have him like walk on the sidewalk and have the lawyer yeah. down here so he could at least be closer to his shoulder? I mean, he was like so short. Well, and you know, another thing on this film for me is um, there's some pretty bad hammy performances from some of the henchmen and like the evil people. Yes. Like in this movie. And, uh, it's like, why didn't they just go out and have Russians? Well, that or like the twirling of like the, <laughs> you know, the little, little mustache kind of guy. Oh, you're talking about like when he pulls them over and they're like, you'll never get away with this. <laughs> well, and then like the, the like, welcome to hell. You, yeah. you can follow me oh, into Boston. And, and yeah, yeah. it's yeah. just welcome to hell. And, you're gonna regret this. <laughs> it's just, it's then, I mean, uh, you know, something that we thought of uh, coming over here was some of those parts I think were made simply for the trailer because in the trailer they have him saying, You're gonna be hanging on the cross and oh, banging yes, the nails. The and they show him banging, banging in that thing. wrench into the yeah, wall and it makes sense and makes it so badass. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas in the movie, the part where he's like slamming this wrench in the wall is just for pure scariness. Or yeah, something. where did he get the wrench? Yeah, but he doesn't do anything well, with it. Why did they go into that big crazy third act where they yeah. like, get all complicated with we gotta haul them off and then put them in here and put them into this situation and do this it's and like do that? Then, then, then they're scientists. Right, right. Then well, they have it, that. well, they're gonna experiment on yeah. it now. And that's that's the wacky thing is it's like the first two acts in this are actually pretty decent. It's a yeah. pretty yeah. decent like you know it action thriller well, kind yeah. of thing. And then it's like it gets to the third act and it just leaps off this cliff of like yeah, the train zany, zaniness. Yeah, I mean it just goes like way over the top. I think way at that point handy. they're really trying to hammer it in and like the government is bad. Yeah, well and and, and yeah, like there's the evil CEO guy, like there's the pictures of like horrible. with him with Bush. You know, oh and, yeah, they had to like, focus on that. Yeah, and Cheney. yeah, and it was just it was a little over top, which I don't know if it's because you know this, this. I don't know if everybody knows this film was based on a uh, BBC miniseries that they've now kind of brought to America, and it was actually co-produced by BBC Films. So I don't know if maybe that's a little bit you know the English kind of had the, the the nudge towards the Americans in regard to the whole Bush administration and all that. Well, and if that and in the show it was probably like you were rubbing elbows with the Queen or something. Right. Well, maybe or even Bush just because him and uh, the Prime Minister. Yeah, was so tight. Yeah. So. Well, I also kind of think this this is just, I mean, along with the subject matter of the daughter and all that, uh, what's going to happen in Hollywood for a little while from Taken. Taken did so well. Yeah, an older guy comes so, back to kick yeah. ass. Mess with my family. I'm yeah. going to come get you. But Danny Houston was horrible in this. He played uh, the, the mean the evil CEO, CEO guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and one of the worst portrayals from him. I've ever seen. Oh, uh, yeah. it's horrible. He, like, was, he did kind of confuse me at times. I didn't know whether he was trying to portray, I'm kind of innocent in all this, or I'm secretly trying to act nice because I'm, you know, maniacal underneath. It, it was a very fine line, and I didn't yeah. know which one he was treading there. It, I, yeah, it, yeah, it was just terrible acting. The, the worst acting yeah. for me was the uh, the fellow who got the, who played the senator, uh, the skinnier guy. Oh, and I can't remember his name, but first time I saw him, I leaned over and I was like, isn't that the guy who does a Kimball Soup commercial that says, tell my wife to enjoy the view? <laughs> so I really couldn't take him seriously after that. My worst actor in this film would have to go to the henchman with the grease back hair. The uh, Italian you're gonna guy? regret this. Yeah, he's got like <laughs> he's the worst the, the worst line reads probably I've seen in a film in quite some while, but it kind of fits the hammy over the topness of it. So you know there again that's why I say not a good film, but a good film to get hammered with some friends at a bar, go with four people. Have a nice little group, and uh, I think it'd be enjoyable if you did that. Uh, so, what would you give it, John? Um, I gotta come up with my clever thing. I'm gonna go two. Come back to me for my clever things after you guys get. <laughs> All right. What do you think? Angel? I'm gonna give it three milk cartons at five. I'm gonna give it uh, two nails out of five. You'll understand if you see the. Movie. Oh no, no, that's not what I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it uh, <laughs> two deaths. Death uh, rattle. Death rattles. That's what I said. We talked about it. And I'm gonna yeah. take my clever witty thing to, to, how the hell does like a 50 year old man put up with a MMA built stocky <laughs> badass ass kicker guy, in a knife fight? That was too long. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> All right. This is Lost in Reviews. Take your parental adrenaline and get the hell out of here. Bye. Bye.